Skills. We're gonna do a video about you beating this game. Pop it up. Teenage Mutant Ninja Saturday. Turtles. This is notorious for being how difficult it is. It's Which crazy is difficult. hard. I I'd never beat it. Haven't even come close to beating it. And it's one of those bucket list games that I have to beat it. And now that you told me how you beat it, I might have a chance. <laughs> well, please yeah. explain how you did it. Well, I mean, growing up, me and my brother we used to play this game all the time because you know, we're kids who doesn't like the turtles, right? Yeah. yeah awesome. And this game is so freaking hard. Even like, do any list of top Hardest difficult games. NES games, and this game is on that list. It, so it's, it's freakishly hard. Is it mainly the end level, or is the entire the thing entire hard? I've never thing played it. Thing is difficult. It's like. The well, platforming is difficult. Like, everything is hard, like, and maybe it's just that we're, we're I'm, I'm not that good at these types of games, but the jumping and, and everything's got to be so precise. Yeah. And I know I've watched a couple of walk or speed runs. Yeah. Uh, there are people wow. out there that make it look easy. They make it look easy, but they know exactly where where they need to attack, where they yeah. need to jump, and, and they just do it effortlessly. Yeah. And... I don't know how many hours they have into the game to know it's where each there. enemy is. I mean, they're they're hitting, they're they're mm. swinging their weapons before the the thing is even. They know in the exactly screen. what's coming, the timing, the position they gotta be in in order to swing their weapon yeah. and kill that enemy. And well, it's just it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I I just I, I I can't see myself putting that much time. No. But to, you did. To learn. But you got through it. I got through it. And I, I at Christmas time, I had a chunk of days off, and I, was, I told my wife, not this, uh, yeah, the Christmas that went by. Uh huh. Anyway, I had a chunk of days off from work, and I said, that I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and beat that thing. I, I, I found a copy because I didn't have a copy. This is my copy here, uh, or it's D Price, D Price owns it. He didn't Whoa. own. He yeah, he <laughs> owned it for a little bit, but he gave up on it. It must have been super hard. <laughs> it is difficult. Yeah. Like, and I just set up my old NES uh, maybe two, three weeks ago. Yeah, you were inspired. And by I Jen. said, because my brother had it at his house, and I said I'm bringing it over. And I said, and I swear I'm gonna beat that Turtles game yeah. because it just it so as eats kids you guys me. had never beat it we never beat oh. it we could always what we assumed was the last level because back in those days you couldn't yeah. go on no there was no walk there was no walk there was, there, no was, there was no you had to go to school and say did you beat I, that I think you could have bought maybe uh, a magazine with kind yeah. of a walkthrough or a yeah. strategy guide that would have like Possibly, More, but, yeah. but that, Possibly. Wasn't, that wasn't available to me. I yeah. lived way up in the boonies there. But yeah. I assumed that me and my mm -hmm. brother were getting close I to the like end because it was so difficult. And I, I, it just felt like we were close to the end, which now that I completed the game, we were so close really? to getting to the end. I mean, literally, Man. we would get to this long corridor and there's these, I call them astronauts. <laughs> because they're flying around and they're shooting their lasers and stuff and they're they're so Possessed hard to kill <laughs> and they would just wipe us out and when you lose one turtle then it uh, what's his face their splinter comes on the screen you choose another turtle and then when you choose another one you start back at the start of that level oh, and then you gotta oh fight your way back to get oh. to that stupid hallway I haven't gotten to the hallway is that right after the sewers I get stuck in the sewers. No, you you gotta I'm beat the te you, like when I say the, the long corridor, business. you gotta actually fight the Technodrome, and then you go inside the Technodrome. Oh no, and I never got that. And that's the final level. I never got that. And it's it's just hard. Okay, you were telling me that your strategy to get through that involved farming for a certain weapon. Yeah, I don't know what the weapon is called, but there's these pickups. You can pick up like there's these boomerangs, there's mm -hmm. ninja stars, yep. um, and then there's this other one. I don't know what it's called, but it almost looks like this force shield 
I know it looks. You yeah, know what I mean? It's like almost a half moon it, shape. You throw it. You there. throw it, oh. and it goes you in. Want to say, look at? <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> it's almost like a Mortal Kombat <laughs> thing. Yeah. and it just plows through everything there. So Strong. if it hits one one enemy, it'll go through <gasps> him, and it keeps going until yep. it exits the screen. We'll make sure to so like pop it up here so that enemies. we can figure out what it is. And so yeah, but I don't know what it's called. But anyways, yeah. there's a certain spot in the game where I just like go, I go through the level, and I pick one up. And you get 20 of them, and I'm like, you know what? I gotta get by those astronauts somehow. Yeah. So I just I I pick it up. I get 20 of them. I finish that little episode, mm -hmm. and then I go back in and I pick up another one. And I would do that, and I I picked up. I think I think I did that same thing six, six times because I, I got times. three wow. turtles yep. with 40 of those things, and then I kept Donatello with with his boomerangs just because oh, okay. I don't want to bother to get more of those pickups for Donatello because as you're beating your enemies you all of a sudden that those pickups there and then it just pops up and you grab it and you're like ah so because I your weapon reach is so long is that what happens with that no weapon? it just if you if you kill a bad guy if after a certain amount of bad guys it gives you a, a oh, pickup so you just kept Donatello to get you to that part yeah and then you Switch I switched turtles, turtles, turtles and just start okay. plowing. And just plowed that plowed. stuff to kill those astronauts. Ass. Astronauts. So astronauts. As you ran out of that weapon, were you able to strategically switch to I the didn't next... run out. Oh. Didn't run out. But that's why I did yeah. But you could 40... have switched to the next turtle if you ran out? Yeah, yeah, you can well, switch to yeah. turtles anytime. Oh, okay, okay. At any point. Okay. And it would, but... And, and that's the thing, if I ran out of that one force shield, I called it, whatever. Yeah. And if I didn't have one, then I'd switch to the next turtle who had another 40 and just oh, keep plowing, okay. through. plowing through. And I mean, I finished the game and I still had <clears throat> some force shields left. Wow. Yeah. Don't ask me how much, but I had some left. I just wanted did, to make sure that I had Did enough. you take a, take a shot with your phone? Yes, I did. <gasps> You're gonna send, send us that pick. I did yeah. take a pick yeah, at the end there because yeah. I know I remember my kids. They were watching me as I was playing. I said, like, "I'm beating this game today," nice. and I I was I made it to the Technodrome. I had all four turtles. I had all my all my weapons and stuff. Yeah. And I was set up good. And I was taking my time. And I was getting the nervous sweats there. And I'm like, <laughs> I gotta do this. I gotta do this. Yeah. See, children, if you believe you can succeed, and if you put <laughs> hours and hours and hours into a game. And 30 years hours, later, you'll beat it. You'll beat it. <laughs> you'll, you can do it. You'll achieve your dreams. <laughs> I believe in you. But it, it, when I got to that corridor and I'm going down, and then all of a sudden there was this little dinky little boss fight where I had to fight one of those astronauts, and I, I had those weapons, so I just beat him easy. And then I went into the doorway, and there was Shredder, and I was like, oh. <laughs> I was been so close so many times to getting to him. Yeah. yeah. And then I said, you know what? I'm not gonna cheap out. I'm gonna beat him legitimately with my weapons. And no, I wasn't taking that <laughs> chance. I said, you know what? I'm just gonna use that super weapon <laughs> and just <laughs> put... Oh yeah, and I just annihilated him. Like he didn't stand a chance. Awesome. But and I was so so happy. I mean, as soon as it happened, like Splinter comes on the screen. I don't remember what he said. And I took out my phone and I was taking a picture. I was like, oh, what this is all? Because I may never do this again. See, you know? that's oh, why yeah. you had to wait all those years later because you wouldn't have had a phone Proof. to take pictures. I'm gonna I'm gonna take personal credit here for inspiring you to dig out your Nintendo <laughs> and uh, your Atari and all that yeah. retro yeah. stuff that you have in your closet or your basement or attic or wherever and I hope we inspire some people out there to go back grab those old consoles grab some of those games yep. that were just impossible and figure out how to beat them yeah well I assume that as I grew that I would kind of maybe be smarter about playing these games because this one here it's not really about reaction time and all this Strategy. stuff it the problem is you do grow smarter, but you have less time. But you grow less, you grow less speed. Your speed goes a little. Yeah, <laughs> true. But yeah. when I was a kid, I didn't figure out to farm those. Yeah. 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 Those four shields or whatever you call them. This time here, I said. When we were kids, we wouldn't it. even have called it farming. We'd have so, been like, get a lot of that stuff. Yeah. On your vacation, you you knocked off Tyson, Mike Tyson's punch out, beat him. Yeah. Then you came here and beat it to show Phil and won five bucks because you bet you couldn't do it. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> Phil. And uh, you, knocked yeah. out, you knocked out the turtles. You're going to send us a screenshot here yes. for your proof because yes. you don't have any game capture on it. Yeah. 
and you were playing your Final Fantasy last I heard. Have yeah, you, uh, the Final Fantasy in? on the NES. I started playing that again. Have you, uh, how far are you into that, do you know? I can't remember. But you did beat that when you were younger. I finished it yeah. back, way back yeah. in the day. Yeah. yeah. Anything else? I'm gonna try and attempt. I've got this other game, it's a helicopter game called Cobra Command. Cobra Command. You think it'd be G.I. Joe related, but it's not. Cobra! Anyways, you, you've got you've got your helicopter and you're destroying tanks and cannons and all this stuff. You gotta rescue these hostages and there's only five levels, it doesn't seem that difficult. There's just a lot. There's, there's yeah. just a lot. Is it a two player? No, it's one player. Oh, it's just one player. And uh, I got one here that sounds similar, but I think it's called uh, Twin Twin Cobra. Twin Co yeah, it might be that. Wonder if it's just like a... I got it on the shelf. <laughs> like you can, I, I, it's two player, and it's I two reason player. I grabbed it because it was two player, so me and Alex could play it. Yeah, we never played it. Yeah. I'll play it with you. <laughs> Anyways, but I same it. thing. You're a helicopter going to shoot, very uh, similar to Jackal. Jackal, you but you're in the jeeps. Jackal, Jackal. I have a lot of fond memories, and that's one game that I, I've never beat legit. I had to put a cheat in to beat it there because yeah. I beat it with my son. But I don't know if I ever finished that. one. I remember playing it, but I don't yeah. remember if me, I ever finished my it. cousins tried a bunch of times, and we were so close, and we we're right up on the end of the last boss, and it's just oh my god, too much. Then I asked Phil, Phil, did you beat that? And he looked at me like. Yeah. Everybody does. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. You're just going to have to deal with you're never going to be as awesome as me. My no. new best friend, Phil. Your new best friend, Phil? Yeah. Okay. I don't even know what that was about last time. <laughs> All right. We're going to wrap this up. Yeah. I hope we inspired some people to dig at their old consoles or old games. And try and play them. If you get too frustrated, then give them to me, please. Yes. <laughs> Here, here's our address right here. Not really. No. <laughs> Till next time, please like, subscribe, and comment. Tell us which game you haven't beat yet, but you fully intend on because it's on your bucket list. Yes. Till next time. Bye. Yeah.